curbless showers can be a great aesthetic or functional upgrade. This is easily achieved with the Fondo Ligno and Ligno Recess Kit. Our installer has utilized the Ligno Recess Kit and is now preparing the substrate and plumbing for the Fondo Ligno shower base. The pipe must be cut 5 eighths of an inch below the substrate the Ligno is being installed on. It may be easier to cut the pipe flush with the floor first. Clean the pipe of any burrs or debris after the cut. Be sure to have a hole 6.5 inch in diameter. Measuring from the center of your pipe to each wall, ensure that your pan will fit entirely in the shower area. The Fondo Ligno can be modified and trimmed up to 6 inches on any side. To maintain a flush transition, minimal modification on the entry side is recommended. Dry fit the pan before installing to ensure a perfect fit. Force may be applied to achieve a snug fit, but should be limited enough not to damage the base. The 3 quarter inch perimeter of the pan offers a flush transition to your 3 quarter inch subfloor. If additional height is needed for a flush transition, install a layer of weedy building panel or another floor rated backer board first before installing the base. The Weedy Fundo Ligno Shower Base utilizes our click and seal drain system. When the Ligno is ready to be installed, the first step is attaching the drain body. Remove all internal components from the drain body. These will be used later in the installation to make a watertight connection to our pipe. When installing the drain body on the underside of the Ligno, first apply a small amount of the included lubricant to the entire surface of the rubber gasket on the drain body. You will then place the drain body into the threaded drain area of the shower base and simply turn clockwise until you hear a click. Ensure the drain is properly threaded and sitting evenly. Through the top, ensure the single hash marks on the drain body line up in between the double hash marks on the shower base. This will indicate a proper drain body installation. The base is now ready for installation. Using a quarter inch by a quarter inch notch trowel, apply modified thin set to your substrate. Use the flat side of the trowel to burn it into the substrate, then use directional trowel techniques to ensure proper coverage. Always be sure to clean your substrate first before applying thinset. Any wet area approved modified thinset will be sufficient when installing weedy fundo shower bases. Then apply the thinset to the bottom of the Ligno shower base using the same techniques. The quarter inch trowel lines will be made in the same direction on the substrate as well as the Ligno shower base. Gently lay the base into the shower area and make sure the pipe lines up and protrudes through the drain area of the base. To ensure proper coverage, walk on top of the pan starting from back and slowly force out any air still beneath the base. Apply weight to the corners and drain area while the thin set cures. Use a damp sponge to clean out any of the thin set that may have squeezed up into the base's channel. Using the internal drain components from earlier, you will apply lubricant to the sealing gasket. Place the gasket around the pipe and seat it fully to the bottom of the drain body. Next, add lubricant to the inside gasket of the compression spacer. Install this spacer around the pipe and on top of the sealing gasket already in place. Now, using a counterclockwise direction, Thread the locking key in place and tighten fully with the strainer key and a flathead screwdriver. The strainer key remains in place to provide a convenient hair catch for the end user. Weedy building panels are 100% waterproof and provide excellent strength and protection for tile installations. The installer is using Weedy's 4x5 by half inch building panels. After ensuring the framing is plumb and studs are no further than 16 inch on center, measure for the first panel. Using a utility knife, simply score through the top cementitious layer and mesh. Snap the panel and cut the remaining layer of mesh on the non-scored side. You will want to notch the bottom of the building panel to ensure a tight connection around the base to the floor, leaving no open voids. Dry fitting the panel is a key step. Place the half-inch building panel into the channel and against the studs, 
With a marker, mark a line where the Primo shower base meets the building panel. Also, make marks on the studs just above the building panel. This will confirm that the panel was fully seated in the channel. Weedy shower installations use our joint sealant in and on top of all seams for adhesion and waterproofing. This install will feature our 20-ounce sausage, but it is also available in a 10-ounce cartridge. Proper amount and use of the Weedy joint sealant is key to every successful install. Ensure all rabbit channels are free of any debris before using the Weedy joint sealant. This is an important step to ensure it creates a strong seal between the Weedy base and building panel. The installer applies a continuous half inch by half inch bead of sealant through the entire length of the channel. The building panel is positioned and seated in the half inch channel compressing the joint sealant. The marks the installer made on the studs earlier helps ensure the building panel is fully seated in the half inch channel. The Weedy shower system uses screws and washers for anchoring of the building panels directly to studs. Do not use any adhesives to glue the building panels to studs. It is also important not to place any screws and washers lower than 12 inches from the shower base. Starting at 12 inches, the installer anchors the building panel every 12 inches at every stud location. Countersink the fasteners until the entire edge of the washer is sunken slightly below the face of the building panel. Remove any squeeze out of sealant with a putty knife. We will apply a second bead of sealant later in the installation. Dry fit the second panel. Apply a continuous half-inch bead of sealant along the edge of the already installed first building panel. The second panel is positioned and installed, compressing the half-inch bead of sealant between the two panels. A screw and washer will be placed in the seam for flush anchoring. Continue every 12 inches on every stud. Use a putty knife to flatten any squeeze out in the seam. Use a utility knife or a keyhole saw to make your cutouts for plumbing valve protrusions. Dry fit the panel using the same procedure as earlier and mark. Ensure there are no gaps where the building panels meet. This time, sealant will also be applied vertically in between the panel being installed and the building panels already installed. Ensure a tight fit into the channel and against the existing panel. Begin anchoring in the corner on a slight angle to maintain compression. Then anchor the building panel with the screws and washers every 12 inches like before. In the corners where the panels meet, offset your washers so they do not create a void. Always remember to flatten any sealant that is squeezed out. Repeat this process to install the remaining weedy building panels. Now is the time to apply a second and final bead of joint sealant to the seams and fasteners. Working in sections, apply a half inch bead of sealant to all seams in the shower assembly. When working on an inside angle, use the corner putty knife to flatten the sealant. There are indicator lines on the corner putty knife to ensure a proper spread. It is important that the sealant is flattened to a minimum of one inch past the seam in both directions, at a thickness of about 1 16th of an inch. Use a flat knife for the flat seams. The same flat knife will be used for the screw and washer locations. Apply sealant to the fasteners and flatten the sealant ensuring it goes past the washer one inch in all directions. It is recommended to address the plumbing penetrations in a weedy shower with a flexi collar for the valve area and a waterproof sealing collar for the shower head. The installer will use sealant for the collars. Apply a few beads of sealant and flatten it with a putty knife. Attach the collars and ensure the membrane flange is completely embedded into the sealant. After measuring for the thickness of your tile assembly, cut or snap off the extra threads of the extension collar. This will still provide plenty of adjustability even when all the perforated threads are removed. Clean any debris from the drain area prior to installation of the two rings and extension collar. Place the alignment ring one in place, followed by the snap ring two, lining up the indicators on both rings.
this will screw into place. Be sure to adjust to the correct height before tile is installed around it. The drain cover then gets placed on top of the extension collar. The weedy click and seal drain allows for movement of the drain cover 3 16 of an inch in all directions. This will provide for a perfect drain cover placement when installing tile. Use the channel protector strip included with the ligno and sealant to fill the channel where the base meets the floor. If modifications were made to the base on this side, the channel does not have to be recut. When measuring the area for subliner dry, be sure to overlap the shower base a minimum of four inches and extend into the bathroom a minimum of three feet. When excessive water or splash off is expected, further extension of waterproofing is required. Mark, cut, and install the subliner dry with the printed directions facing up. Maintain a minimum area of two inches at the perimeter of the subliner dry, free of mortar. Sealant 620 will be used to create waterproof seals and overlaps of the membrane. Using a minimum 3 16 inch by 3 16 inch notch trowel, spread a wet area approved modified thin set onto your substrate. Use the flat side of the trowel first and use directional troweling techniques across the shortest length. This will ensure proper coverage and bond. Like with all Weedy products, make sure the substrate is clean and free of debris before installation. Once the subliner is set and thinset, use a wood or mason float to compress the trowel lines and completely embed the subliner dry. When seaming multiple pieces of subliner dry together, maintain a 2-inch overlap between each connection. Keep this overlap free of mortar as we will seal it with sealant 620. Clean any thinset that may have overflowed during installation. Use sealant 620 to adhere and seal the subliner dry overlap to the shower base. Flattening the sealant with a putty knife first will ensure a complete and even bond. Do the same to each 2-inch overlap. To properly protect the entire area, use subliner dry sealing tape to flash the waterproofing up the wall a minimum of 2 inches. Use 620 to adhere the sealing tape. This is a crucial step to stopping potential water migration through non-waterproofed areas of the room. The Weedy Fundo Ligno makes creating a beautiful curbless shower easy and worry-free. Contact your local Weedy Technical Sales Support Manager for more information.